y'all doing today? I have come here with a little insight to share with you on a dream I had while I drink my London Fog. I've been trying to get off the coffee. It's one of my favorite drinks in the morning, but I've noticed that it really does affect my vibration. Uh, it really does send my energy into a bit of a tizzy. And I don't mean that I feel scatterbrained or anything like that. It's just vibrationally, I do feel that it, um, it doesn't help things. Let's just put it that way. Now, I love having a comforting drink in the morning. It's kind of like that ritual. And I never really needed the caffeine, but I know that it's the caffeine that's kind of making things haywire on an energetic level. So now I'm doing this London Fog, which is just, um, it's just Earl Grey tea, half Earl Grey tea, and then the rest is steamed milk and foamed milk with a little bit of honey to sweeten it. It's quite good. So if any of you are out there who need to get off the coffee, you may want to try this drink. It's actually helped. And now, um, every now and then I'll have a coffee and it's actually to the point where I don't enjoy it anymore. It's too acidic. So, uh, that's, that's good news for, um, me on that front, but I wanted to share with you all a dream that I had recently that I feel is very prophetic on what's going on in our world today. And it's, really hopeful and has some good news in it. And so I thought I'd share it with all of you and I'd love to know what you all think uh, in the comments below. And if you are having any dreams similar to this, uh, anything that's happening on the astral plane for you. So I had this dream that I was in a school and um, I was in a foyer and the foyer, I think led into a huge gymnasium, but this foyer was about three stories tall. And I see this device in the center of the foyer and there was a stone being. Now I don't really typically ever, I've ever dreamed of a stone being before. And so this actually was something very significant to me because um, it looks like a, the being from the movie, I think it's The Hobbit, um, that stone being. And so um, I see the stone being grab the device with uh, his right hand and the soon as the device went into his hand it turned into stone and became part of him and as soon as that happened a demonic energy mostly red showed up and went into battle with this um, stone being trying to uh, retrieve the device back and so they started to battle and as they were battling all of a sudden the stone being shot up to the ceiling and faster than a blink of an eye there was a ledge that you couldn't see from the ground but for some reason when the stone being was up there it's almost like i could see through the stone being's eyes like i could see whatever it could see and there was a ledge that went around the ceiling and he dropped the device it released from his hand was no longer stone and released it there to hide it from the demonic being and then shot down. Now this happened so fast. It was in such a split second that this demonic being did not see it. And so they continued to battle um, th this negative being thinking that the stone being still had the device. Now, I thought this was very interesting and um, I had to look up the meaning of stone. So I thought I'd read to you what I found here. Now, the significance of stone in a wide sense is truth concerning which we see. And stones have signified truth for the reason that boundaries of the most ancient people were marked off by stones and that they'd set up these stones as witnesses. Very cool. Now, what also is interesting is that this all took place in the educational institution, our schooling system. So what is the truth trying to tell us? That everything we've been taught is now being crumbling down and the truth is getting exposed for what it actually is. Now this negative being was trying to grab the device back, which I looked at as control over the truth narrative. And the, this dream is showing me that they've lost. They've lost control of the truth narrative. And you can see that this is happening in our world right now. There are many things that are being exposed. It seems you can't get through the day without at least multiple stories um, being exposed on how things that we thought were one way are we're really realizing that they're not. Now, 
what I thought was also really cool was when this truth released the device to hide it from the, to keep it safe from the negative entity, uh, was that the truth knows that it doesn't need to have control the, um, over any narrative, that it is the truth and that's all it needs. And so it was able to release the control, unlike the negative being that needs to control everything. So I thought that was really cool and it shows us that truth is winning and we can see that in our world right now. You, there's so many current events happening that are showing the expos, the exposing of the truth and um, I just felt like this dream. I wanted to share it with you all because it's hopeful and it's kind of cool. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are on it and if any of you are having uh, any interesting dreams on the astral plane. Uh, any of you maybe being trained for your missions, anything like that, pretty cool. So uh, let me know what you think, but from what I've been shown in my dream is, is that um, although the battle still continues, uh, the truth is winning and uh, all good for that. So thanks for joining me today. I wanted to also let you guys know that um, I do have a webinar coming up. It's called um, Expand Your Mind, Expand Your Potential. And so I'm gonna be having an online webinar for that at the end of November, November 27th at 8 p.m. Eastern time. You can, I'll leave a link in the description below. If any of you are interested in joining me, I'd love to have you there. It's gonna be interactive. I'd love for you all to ask questions. And I'm gonna be going through um, some of the techniques that I've used through my spiritual journey to help expand my mind, which has in essence been able to expand my potential in so many areas of my life. So whether you're looking for more loving relationships, perhaps a career change, things like that, maybe you want to open up a business, I'm gonna go through some of the um, mind expanding techniques that I use uh, to help then expand your limitless potential. So really cool stuff. So I'll leave a link in the description below for that. And uh, if you need any more information, please head on over to my blog, inflexibleme.com. And uh, don't forget, every Thursday in iTunes, I have an episode that comes out on my podcast, Enlighten Up, with my beautiful co-host, Michael and Lisa. So uh, that's about it for all today. Uh, again, please leave comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'd love to know what's going on in the astral plane in your world and, and if uh, you've got any prophetic, hopeful um, messages to share with us, I'd love to see them. So have a great day, everyone, and I'll be back next time.